Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here back for a really exciting shave today. A special one as well because this is the last time I'll be doing a shave video in this place. I'll be moving out with my girlfriend uh, at the end of the week. So videos from there for, uh, the fourth will be out in our new place. Uh, awesome little rental place, uh, it's just been newly renovated, nice new tiles, new bathroom, new everything. So it looks absolutely beautiful and I can't wait, I'm super, super excited for that. Another exciting bit is what we'll be using today, which is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the Cube. Now I had this accidentally sat in a puddle of water. Um, there was just a little bit of water underneath the label, so it's just sort of messed it up a bit. I've used this probably two or three times. I don't think I've done a video on it, but I'm really, really wanting to. Um, so on the front, Douglas Smythe says, so um, you use it to wash your face first, which I've just done, and I can tell you this stuff is slick as slick, so I just applied it, and then I've just sort of washed it off with water. I wanna try and do a shave with just the cube, but not today, we won't do that today. That's definitely <laughs> something I want to try out, is just using the cube actually as a, um, as a shaving soap. I want to actually see if you can lather it. I think, I reckon you probably can. Um, anyway, I put it on the face and I've washed it off with warm water. And now, all you need to do is lightly apply it to the grain and get going with the shave. I've never been a big fan of pre-shaves um, products. In fact, I've never found one that I really enjoy. Um, I've used this twice and I enjoyed it, so it's a big thing. Pre-shave oils are terrible. Never use a pre-shave oil. And um, all soap makers will tell you this. Every single one of them I've asked, all of them say never use a pre-shave oil because the oil will actually suck up all the all the nice juicy goodness that's in the lather. Um, and I noticed that whenever I use pre-shave oils, the lather was just not anywhere near as dense, thick, creamy, and didn't ruin the shave, but it obviously didn't help it at all. It only hindered the shave. So. This one is a little bit different using a soap sort of base with activated charcoal. That's, that's the main ingredient in here that I think adds that ton of slickness. I'm not sure, but oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to warm the face back up again with the hot towel and then just apply against the grain. And I really like this stuff. Um, it's got no scent to it whatsoever, so it's... Um, it's friendly to you guys that are sensitive um, with scents. So for today, we're going to be using PAA Synergy Shaving Soap Obliette. Uh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. I, I really, really like it. Um, yeah, absolutely awesome. And I've got that with the matching splash. And I've got the Phoenix Green Ray brush. I really like this brush, especially the knot. I love the faux horse hair. Um, synthetic knots have just got a nice natural feel while still having a sort of a ball, uh, a bore like tallness to them. Um, yeah, they just feel really great on the face. Um, Obly at matching aftershave if I didn't show that already. And I'm going to be using the Feather ASD2. I haven't used this in ages, but it's a super easy razor, one of the easiest razors to use. Um, it's literally plug and play. And they're expensive, but they shave really well. Very mild, so I like to use my sharp blades in them. I couldn't find any feathers. Must still be at my girlfriend's place. So I'm gonna be using the Pulse of Wesemitz. I really like these blades, they're fantastic. Okay, let's get cracking with the shave. I wish more soap tubs were made this size. I love it, love it that it's shallow, but it's massive. Like this is, this is a 24 mil brush and I'll show you how big it is inside this uh, inside this tub. That's my normal splaying motion, but I get to go all the way around. It's bloody awesome. So any of my huge brushes, um, I'll generally try and use this soap with it because uh, it's just the easiest to load with bigger brushes. And that's all I'll need. Don't need a lot. I'm just going to grab the cube. I know Jeffrey Smith used this quite a bit. Um, I can't remember what his verdict really was on it, but he used it until it went out, so I'm guessing that it's decent.
Activated charcoal as well actually boosts your leather. So I know a lot of pre-shaved oils have called themselves leather boosters, <laughs> and uh, which none of them have worked for me. Um, but this, I don't know. I, th I, th I think it's pretty close to being really, really practical and works. Um, Alright, just added water to the tips of the brush. What I think we should see now is um, some soap makers to put the activated charcoal in soap base. Why not? If you're going to be smearing it all around into the lather anyway. If it does such a good job, Add it to the soap base. Definitely one of the higher end vegan sort of soaps. This brush feels awesome and um, I'm going to leave it there. It's a lot thicker than I'd normally have it, but the brush is at its pretty much capacity, so I can't <laughs> add more water, otherwise it's all just gonna fall off. Fall out of the brush. All right, a little bit more coffee. Ugh. All right, Feather ASD2, let's see how it goes. Never used it with this blade. Love it. If you guys are after a daily driver and but looking in the higher end sort of things, this, the Feather ASD2 and the Rocknell Elite will be my number one recommendations for you. So this one, generally what I do when I shave with this razor is I do one pass with the grain and then the second pass against the grain. It's just works for me. I think one of the combos that uh, shocked me the most was this razor with the perma sharp. I literally couldn't feel the blade. But it was cutting. But um, yeah, literally couldn't feel the blade. And uh, after a few uses, I didn't actually like that. So I went back to a feather where I could uh, mildly feel it. Now, this is the uh, test. Whether the residual slickness stays there for the second pass, and I can already tell you it's going to. That's huge. That's um, that's a nice cool rank on my face. That's that's really really good. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's it. That, that, uh -huh. Well. Wow. That's ridiculous. All right. Against the grain now. Uh, where do I want to start?
can't even remember when I bought this. I think I got it in the same package when I got the, um, I think it was the Down DE Shavette thing. Because I needed to spend a certain amount. So I just chucked this in there because I thought, why not? And um, the PAA cube, that is. And um, yeah. I'm glad I did. It's really, really good. And that is just... So close. <laughs> That's awesome. I find most of my closest shaves are with the molder razors, but I prefer the feel of more aggressive razors. That was an awesome shave. That uh, extra residual slickness really, really stays until the second pass, definitely. Nice. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> I thought it would work, but not that well. That was that worked really well. Alright. Obliet. I really like the scent on this, but um, I found this is the same with um, the other PAA splashes I've had. I'm not sure if there's something in there that my face disagrees with or it just reacts differently to. But I have a mild warmth feeling on the face, sort of the same feeling I get with a soap reaction. It doesn't flare up the skin badly, it, it just leads a warmth, so I'm not sure if it's bad or not, because I haven't had like a proper reaction where it's absolutely burning my face. But, just to make it comfortable, I use a lot less than I normally do for an aftershave, and it, it still does its job pretty well. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to keep uh, continuing on with the cleanup. Well, you guys don't have to watch that. Um, it's just boring. You don't need it. Um, anyway, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I can't wait to bring you guys some videos into the new shade den. It's going to take a while for me to set it up the way I want it. <laughs> so um, whether I do a video while it's being done or not, uh, we'll see. You guys take care, stay safe, keep positive, stay smiling guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.